I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are five reasons not to use fear for security compliance. Ah, these people using insecure passwords, clicking open phishing mails, and installing malicious apps. Why don't they understand? Ha, we'll show them, right? If you don't follow the security protocols, you're in for it. Fear will keep the local systems in line. Wait, didn't Grand Moff Tarkin say that in Star Wars? I don't think that worked out so well for him. Maybe fear isn't the best way to get your staff to be more secure. Here are five reasons why you should not use fear to encourage security compliance. Number one, fear fades. People burn out and get used to it. Yeah, 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 bad things are gonna happen. I heard it the first thousand times. A better tactic is to get people to want to be secure. Coming into number two, people are suspicious of fear mongering. When the fear fades, the skepticism sets in. I bet those security pros don't know what they're talking about. They're just cashing a paycheck. I've never been hacked. Once you lose trust, you're not gonna get compliance. Up to number three, fear also can have other side effects. Punishment can bring limited compliance, not understanding and adaptability, and that can end up lowering productivity and innovation. People say, I'd better just follow the rules, not try anything new. Sliding into number four, Fear leads to cheating and shortcuts. A classic case, you tell your staff to use long passwords, don't reuse them, and don't write them down. But how are they supposed to do all that and remember their passwords? Maybe just give up on following the rules since you'll get in trouble anyway. A better idea might be to give them tools for better password management. At number five, fear demotivates. Yelling and punishing and threatening does not make for a thriving workplace culture. Getting people on your side and wanting to improve security, that's much more sustainable. Listen, I'm not gonna punish you if you don't pay attention to these five things, right? But we both want better security compliance, so think it over. Hey, there's more where that came from too. Check out our other videos and articles at techrepublic.com. I'll see you there.